Are you sick of endlessly scrolling job boards and never actually finding jobs that feel like the right fit? Most job seekers never find those perfect fit roles because A, they haven't defined what a good fit even looks like. B, today's job descriptions are truly awful. They are so vague and they don't reveal key elements like culture, leadership, or growth. And third, the amount of rejections and the fatigue that come with that in today's market means that you're never really gonna go deep on research with these companies to find out if they're a fit before you apply. But that all changes today. I'm going to show you how to build a ChatGPT agent that scrapes the web for companies, scores those companies against your target criteria, and then spits out a list of value-aligned companies with available roles that you can apply for right now. The best part? It only takes a few minutes to set up. You don't need any technical knowledge or skills. And once you have it set up, this agent is going to find these roles for you while you sleep. Let me show you how to do it. So to teach you the basics of this brand new ChatGPT agent feature, as well as how to use it to build out this workflow, we're gonna cover five things in this video. First, I'm gonna talk through the differences between the basic ChatGPT bot that you've probably been using and this new ChatGPT agent mode. Second, I'm gonna show you how to build really specific and detailed dream job criteria that we can feed this agent so that it's going to be very consistent and very effective with its outputs. Third, I'm gonna show you how to build a scoring methodology using basic ChatGPT that we can also feed this agent to make sure that the scores it gives us are really accurate and we can have a lot of confidence in them. And then we're gonna do the live demo. I'm gonna share my screen. I'm gonna walk you through this entire process step-by-step. Step. You'll see us set up the agent, you'll see it run, you'll see the outputs, and you'll be able to see how this can happen while you sleep, while you go to the gym, while you're doing literally anything else with your time. And then finally, I'm gonna give you three bonus chat GPT use cases that you can leverage agent for in order to take back more time in your job search while increasing your chances of landing more interviews and offers. Before we dive into any of the tactical stuff, the most important first step here is to understand the difference between basic ChatGPT and this new ChatGPT agent mode. So basic ChatGPT is a large language model for brainstorming and Q&A with limited web search capabilities. So this can be really nice for asking questions and getting answers. But the problem here is that you have to tell it what to do next at every single step and it has limited access to third-party tools and web search capabilities and all that good stuff. So OpenAI completely changed this with ChatGPT Agent. They gave Agent its own computer, much like the one you use for work every day. ChatGPT Agent has a virtual version of that where it can click on things, it can use tools, it can actually run apps, it can write code. And then OpenAI gave it access to all of its tools as well as third-party integration. So there's a lot at its disposal. And what this means is that you give ChatGPT agents a set of instructions once, then ChatGPT agent is gonna go browse the web, it's going to tap into other tools, and it's gonna make its own independent decisions for how to complete this workflow all in the background, while you sleep, while you go to the gym, like I said before. So this is really a game changer. And another way to think about it is if you have used Siri or digital assistant before, basic ChatGPT is like telling Siri to find restaurants in your area. It's gonna give you a list of restaurants in your area, but that's about it. You have to do the rest of the decision-making. You have to tell it what restaurant you want. You have to refine the criteria. With ChatGPT agent, it would be like telling Siri to not only find restaurants in your area, but to filter them based on certain criteria and then to actually go make a recommendation and then make a reservation at that restaurant for you. That's how powerful the new ChatGPT agent mode is. So with that said, now we wanna give ChatGPT agent the right inputs. That is the most important part for consistently getting high quality outputs from the agent. Uh, it is the quality of the inputs that we give it. So in this case, we're looking to build an agent that's gonna find value aligned jobs. We need to tell the agent what we value. We need to tell it what our criteria are for a dream role. So the first step in this process is value prioritization. These are the high level categories that are gonna change with every new job. So think salary, think management, culture, the product that you work on and your career trajectory. All these things are gonna be different in the different jobs that you hold throughout your career. So you can use these five. I would also maybe recommend that you come up with another three to five categories. And then what I want you to do is prioritize them from highest to lowest. Which of these is most important when it comes to that new job for you? And which of these is least important and rank everything in between? Once you have your priorities set, the next thing that we're gonna do is build out examples of what great look like for each of these priorities. The reason why this is important is because a great manager can look different to different people. So you need to tell ChatGPT agent what a great manager looks like to you or what a great salary looks like or a great trajectory or a great culture so that it knows what to look for when it's running its searches. So let's run through an example here. 
first, let's say our priority is manager. That's what we want to figure out. What is a great manager? Now I want you to think back on great managers that you've had in the past, or maybe awesome managers who worked on adjacent teams or that you've heard of, or just generally what you think would make for a great manager. And then I want you to build out these criteria. So for example, a great manager might set clear goals, define success metrics, and provide timely and actionable feedback. That's an awesome criteria. Another example might be a great manager who builds psychological safety by listening deeply, by sharing context, and by making fair decisions. That's another awesome example of a criteria. So what we want to do is define two to three examples for every single one of the priorities uh, that we already have prioritized on our list. Once we have that set up, we are going to be in great shape to build our agent. But some people struggle with this. Sometimes it's hard to figure out what a great criteria is, and sometimes we overanalyze things or overthink things. So if you need help here, you can actually use ChatGPT to help you. And I'm talking about the basic version. So we can use one of my favorite prompt formats to solve for this. And essentially what we do here is we tell ChatGPT our goal. So in this case, hey, I am looking to come up with clear examples uh, that define what great looks like for different criteria that I have for my target companies. Then you can ask it to build out a five to 10 question assessment that's gonna cover all the different scopes of the priorities. You're gonna answer them and then ChatGPT is gonna take all of your answer data and use it to help you build out examples of what great looks like for each of those criteria. So at this point, all you need to do is come up with your high level categories. You need to prioritize them from top to bottom. You need to define specific examples of what great looks like for each, about two to three for each. And then we're gonna be ready to build that AI agent that's gonna find these dream roles while you sleep. All right, so now I'm gonna build out this workflow for you step-by-step step right here on my screen so you can follow along and replicate it for yourself. The first step in the process is to take all of the criteria that we just came up with using the exercises I showed you a minute ago, and we wanna put it into a spreadsheet. Now, I'm gonna give you a free downloadable version of this Google Sheets template that you see right here. I'll give you the link in just a minute, so stick around for that. But your spreadsheet should have three major tabs. The first are your macro level parameters. These are gonna be your role and function, the industry, the stage and scale, the location, any of those really high level parameters that's gonna allow the ChatGPT agent to find a broad swath of companies that it can then go score. Second, what we wanna do is share our value prioritization. So these are all of the major high-level categories that are gonna change when you get that new job. Your compensation, the management structure, flexibility, company culture, and you should have these prioritized from top to bottom. Finally, we wanna list out our target criteria examples. These are all the examples of great that you came up with when you were thinking about each of those priorities. What this sheet is gonna do is give us a really easy way to tell ChatGPT exactly what we're looking for so we can build an awesome scoring methodology and so we can go out there and find companies that meet most of these criteria. So once your spreadsheet is built out, you're gonna to wanna to download it and then you're gonna to wanna to come to ChatGPT and you're gonna to wanna to use the prompt that you see on your screen. Again, I'm giving you a free downloadable copy and paste version of this. I'll give you the link in just a second. But basically what this prompt is doing is telling ChatGPT, hey, I'm attaching a scorecard here. Here's the information on all three of the tabs. I want you to use it to build out a scoring methodology that I can use in order to score companies that show up you know, in my LinkedIn feed or that I'm interested in. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and attach that spreadsheet. And then the last thing that I'm gonna do is set this model to a thinking mode. So GPT-5 thinking is great, uh, but anything with reasoning capabilities is what we're looking for. Because then when I run this prompt, ChatGPT is gonna think a little bit more deeply about this scoring methodology and framework. It's really going to take its time. So here we can see it thinking, and then it's gonna to start to walk us through the steps that it's taking as it builds out this scoring methodology. And the nice part is when we give it a little bit more time, when we give it a couple of minutes, it's gonna come up with something really, really robust. And it doesn't really matter how technical it is because we're gonna feed it right into ChatGPT agent, which is gonna understand it like it's a first language, and it's gonna be able to run with it and actually go start finding companies for us while we sleep. All right, so ChatGPT thought for a little over two minutes and it came up with an amazing scoring framework. So it tells you the high level structure. It's going to be a blend of two layers, the macro fit and the values fit. It's telling you how it's going to break that out. Uh, and then it goes through the actual 
different criteria that you gave it and it gives you a scoring framework it gives you different tiers and it essentially rinses and repeats that for every single thing that we gave it so you can get a lot of granularity here and you can go back to it and say hey i want to tweak this in this way or i don't want to place as much emphasis over here that's what's really nice about the framework is it's going to tell you exactly what it's doing so you can read it you can ingest it and then you can adjust it to your preferences but the nice part is all we need to do now, once we're happy with this framework, is tell ChatGPT agent to go find companies and use this framework to score them. So what I'm gonna do first is set ChatGPT to agent mode. That is a critical part of this setup. If you don't set it to agent mode, you're not gonna get the results that we're looking for. So we set it to agent mode, and then we're gonna go ahead and paste in the prompt that you see on your screen here. And the one note that I couldn't fit on the screen is that I actually added in an example output for reference. So now I'm gonna go ahead and run this. And what we're gonna see is first ChatGPT agent is gonna begin setting up its virtual desktop. This is essentially a virtual version of the computer that you and I use every single day. It has that version of it. So it can go click into a browser. It can go use applications. It can go write code and it can do it all from this computer. We can actually take over this computer. I'll, I'll show you that in a second. Um, but essentially what we're gonna see is once it's ready, it's gonna begin working. And as it works, we're not only gonna be able to see the steps that it takes, as you can see right here, it's doing some Google searching. We're also gonna be able to see its thought process along the way. So there's gonna be a little gray bubble overlaid over the screen here, and it's gonna tell you what it's thinking as it goes through these steps. So this is really mesmerizing. I often get caught up in just watching it do the work, um, but that is not the most productive use of your time. So I wanna show you a couple of other factors here, or a couple other features rather, that you can use uh, before showing you the final output. So if you click these three dots here, uh, ChatGPT Agent gives you three options. The first is the activity feed. So the activity feed essentially lets you see the steps that it's taking in order. So you can actually go back through its process if you want. The second option is to take over the browser, which as I mentioned, you can actually just jump into the browser on the page that ChatGPT agent is on and you can click around, you can do whatever you want. Um, I usually just let it run, but I wanted to let you know that this was an option. And then finally, of course, you can stop ChatGPT agent from doing its thing if you wanna start over or if you just don't feel like this process is gonna be worth it uh, for whatever reason. So we're gonna let this run. And the cool part is it's actually gonna send you a notification when it's done. Uh, I have notifications from ChatGPT turned on on my device. So I'm gonna get pinged, which means that I could go for a walk. I could go spend time on other higher ROI job search activities. I can literally do anything else and ChatGPT agent is going to work on this for me and let me know when it's done. So let's give it a second here and then we'll take a look at the output. All right, so I just got the notification on my phone that agent is done with its work. It looks like it worked for over one hour, which is crazy. And it came up with some amazing solutions. It literally went out and did all the work for us and found these amazing value aligned companies with just a single click. So let's check out what it found. Here we can see a full list of companies with the name, their URL, we can see their match score, we can see the highlights for the criteria that they met, and we can also see the gaps, uh, which highlights the things that they did not meet, the criteria that they did not meet. I think that's really interesting because it shows us, you know, are these gaps a priority for me or are they not really a priority? Are they something that I'm happy to kind of make a compromise on? And then finally, and most importantly, they actually have links to open jobs because that's the whole point of this, right? We wanna find companies so that we can apply for their jobs. And the nice part is this whole thing is sourced. So you can actually click on a link like this one and it's gonna take you to the job description. So you can read through the job description. You can obviously go ahead and apply for this role if you want. But hopefully you can see how powerful this is. And hopefully you're as excited as I am about this because finding value line companies is not only one of the most tedious parts of the process, it's also one of the most difficult and it can drain your energy faster than so many other things that we're gonna be doing. So now with this agent, you could just run this overnight while you sleep once a week, once a month, and it's gonna find you these new companies with open roles that you can go ahead and apply for. So now we can spend less time on this and we can spend more time personalizing our applications, more time networking with people who can influence our ability to get hired. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna lead to more interviews and more job offers at value aligned companies while you're spending less time in the boring parts of the job search. So now you know how to set up your own ChatGPT agent. But if you want a shortcut to building out this exact agent that's gonna find those value aligned companies while you sleep, I've got you covered. I'm sharing the exact copy and paste prompt that I used to build this out, as well as the Google Sheets scorecard template completely for free. All you have to do is head to austinbelsack.com forward slash job finder. 
You can also find the link below in the description. And then once you have this set up, I want you to start brainstorming the different ways that you can leverage ChatGPT's agent in other parts of the job search so you can win back more of your time while increasing your chances of landing interviews. So let's talk about a few of those. So like I said, there are basically virtually unlimited ways that you can leverage ChatGPT agent in your job search. What I want you to do is get in the habit of every time you search, every time you go through the motions, thinking of all the different ways that you might be able to automate or delegate using AI. So I wanna give you three more use cases where you can leverage ChatGPT agent to do some of this tedious work for you so you can focus your energy on higher ROI activities. Use case number one is an interview research assistant. So what you can do here is give ChatGPT agent the name of the company you're interviewing at, the job title, and then you can tell it to perform research and you can give it some examples. You can say, hey, go look at earnings calls, go look at interviews with executives, go look at product reviews and customer reviews, go look at competitor products. Take all that information, analyze it, and then share with me the top goals, challenges, and initiatives for the next six to 12 months. That is an awesome way to do this company research ahead of your interview preparation. To build on that, one of the most stressful parts of interview prep is just not knowing what you're gonna be asked and not knowing what the interview process is going to look like. So the second use case is using agent to create an interview question anticipator. What I mean by that is you tell ChatGPT agent your target role and the company you're gonna be interviewing for, and you tell it to go perform research on the interview process at this company, how you should prepare, and tell it to find questions that you are likely going to be asked for this role. Then for bonus points, you could even upload your resume as part of this prompt and you could tell it to actually draft interview answers to the questions that it finds using your resume to tie your experience in. That's gonna give you a great starting point when you actually begin preparing for this interview and you're gonna be able to tie in some of the information that you got from use case number one. Last but not least is a salary negotiation market researcher. So in this case, we're gonna give ChatGPT agent our target job title, our target company, as well as the geography we're gonna be located in. And then we're gonna tell it to go perform market research on salaries and compensation packages for our target role at our target company, for similar roles at competitive companies and in the geography we're gonna be working in. And then we're gonna say, hey, take all that data and tell me the compensation ranges on average, the compensation package structure on average, and then make a recommendation for what range I should target and give me some scripts for how I can negotiate that. So that can be a really, really powerful tool that is gonna allow you to pull in the most up-to-date market data on salaries. All right, so now you know the differences between basic ChatGPT and agent mode. You know how to set up agent mode to automate these tedious tasks in the job search, and you have four use cases to test it out on. So what's next? Well, the first next step is to like this video and subscribe to this channel if you wanna leverage AI more effectively in your job search, and if you wanna build skills in AI that are gonna help future-proof your career. If you're a job seeker who's struggling to get the results you're looking for, we also have our one-on-one -on -one job search coaching program where we teach folks just like you a repeatable system that we've developed over the last nine years that leads to offers in an average of 15 and a half weeks, an average raise of $44,000, and offers at value-aligned companies. And the program comes with a whole bunch of guarantees and a whole bunch of bonuses and benefits. So if you're interested, you can head to cultivatedculture.com forward slash coaching, and you can book a free 30-minute one-on-one call with our team. We'll sit down with you on that call. We'll talk to you about the biggest reason your job search isn't working, the challenges that you're facing, and how our system might be able to help you get into the outcomes that you're looking for. And then finally, if that step feels too large right now, we host free weekly office hours with our team. So every week we go through the three biggest mistakes that we're seeing happening right now in this market that are preventing job seekers from landing interviews and offers. We show you the exact steps to solve for those mistakes so you can unlock the results you're looking for. And we take live questions so you can get all of your job search questions answered right then and there. So you can head to cultivatedculture.com forward slash live to check that out. Whatever you decide as your next steps, I'm really excited to see what you do with these agents. And I can't wait to share more of these tactics with you so you can level up the AI job search as well as your AI skills to future-proof your career. See you in the next video.